Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, Faith, baby, they the voice of the street, man. And today we in, we in Chicago with it, y'all. Now, check it out. We're going to be taking a cruise through the YouTube streets, man. And let me let y'all know what I've seen. Listen to this. First tonight, a teenager's in custody after police say it's he tonight. shot 10 people at a Seminole County club. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday evening. Now, we do know that these 10 people who were shot are expected to survive, but we don't know what led up to this particular mass shooting. News 6 of Troy Campbell is standing by live at Cabana Live, right by Lake Monroe Park. So, Troy, what do we know at this moment? Well, Eric, it's definitely very interesting. If you pull up to Cabana Live this afternoon like we did, you would have no indication that anything happened here. As I'm speaking to you, the venue is open. It is filled with people. There is a DJ. There is loud music. If you take a look behind me, uh, this is the Cabana Live right here by the marina. This is where the Sheriff's Office says it was a much different scene just about 10 hours ago. 10 people being shot here early this morning. Also, the Houston Texans saying one of their wide receivers was also shot in Sanford mm. at some location. So take a look. This photo of a teen boy investigator say shot a 9mm handgun into a Damn. crowd here this morning. 16 year old Christopher Bowie. He's in custody in Seminole County on one felony charge of attempted murder. However, detectives say a total yeah. of 10 people were shot after Bowie opened fire. His rush report states there was a fist fight inside the Cabana Live venue just after midnight. Moments later, he's accused of pulling out a handgun and shooting into that crowd. We are told a security guard jumped in and tackled the shooter almost immediately, helping others keep safe. We spoke with a customer as he left here this evening. Take a listen. They were there last night when it happened, and um, they experienced something that they shouldn't have to experience. And uh, um, they're here today, and you can feel the heaviness inside. Now, a new development we're also following. The Houston Texans, they're sending out a statement on X saying their wide receiver, Tank Dell, he was a victim of a shooting in Sanford. Uh, shooting in Sanford, Florida, last night. He sustained a minor wound, but he has been released from the hospital, and he is in good spirits. They went on to say that they are in touch with his family. Um, additionally, uh, here, we are told that all 10 people who were shot, they were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. And again, the business, it is open right now. Um, and thankfully, security, we are told here, the private security that this venue employs prevented this shooting from being much worse. Mm. Live in Sanford, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6. Troy, let me ask you, so the Texans player, Tank Dell, originally from Daytona Beach, we know that he was shot in Sanford last night, and we also know there's reports floating around that he might have been at that club, but at this point, of course, we'd like to make sure we get it right. There's no confirmation that he was at the club, shot there. Right, so right now we are just following all of the developments of what law enforcement says happened in their jurisdiction last night and what this NFL organization says happened. So right now, Seminole County and Sanford say that this is the only shooting that they responded to last night. Ten people shot. Then we also have an NFL team saying that in this city, one of their players was shot. However, anything else confirming those dots um, have yet to be made. There Certainly, we will continue to stay on top of this. Troy, as you get any new developments, you're going to put them on clickorlando.com for us, as always, and we'll see you again tonight at 11 o'clock. Thank you. Yeah, hey, see how they be trying to cover up for the football players? They don't want him to get caught up in that. He was at that club when that shooting happened, so they like, that's bad publicity. We ain't going to say he was there. But, motherfucker, you got shot somewhere else? Okay, yeah, right. All right. But anyway, yeah, that's crazy, y'all. See? The boy was 16, can't handle a head up fight. He lost it, went and got his gun, and just shot up the whole crowd, y'all. And 10 people get shot. My thing is this once you whoop a nigga and he walk off, you're supposed to be watching him. Hey, Joe, go see what that nigga doing. Go see what that nigga doing. That's all. Pay attention. You know niggas don't want to take their ass whooping like that. 
you know they don't. Hit that like button, man, and subscribe to the channel, man. Man, listen, we turned up so bad last night, we didn't have to do nothing today. I'm talking about nothing. I had some good food, ate, sip. I didn't even drink nothing today. Just relax, y'all. Kicked it with the family and enjoyed myself. Man, we was talking about what happened last night so much. Man, niggas had to come get their cars this morning. My boy was here. Oh, my God. He was out of it, y'all. When he woke up, he woke up about 3 in the morning. And uh, I said, yeah, your girl called. I told her to let you sleep it off. And I, I took the keys. He like, okay. I said, so you can call her and check in. He called her and check in. She like, I'm going to come get you. He like, no, I'm sober now. I can I can drive to you. I'm going to just drive to you. She like, all right. He didn't have no damn gas money. Because look, this is how people do, right? I don't know if he had left his wallet or something, but anyway, he called one of the guys supposed to have been bringing some gas money. The nigga came and was here, sent him in that condition and left. If you go leave, you're supposed to be like, huh, man, but this nigga wake up, man, give him this gas money. But he didn't, you know, some people ain't considerate like me, you know, so I had to give him some $3 for gas, you know, which ain't no thing, that's my man. But I heard that conversation when he was out there on the phone. And dude was talking big, really, like, man, I'm going to get you enough for more than one day for gas. I'm going to get you enough gas for the whole week. Well, where at that? Hopefully the G catch up with him today and uh, he'll take care. But let me tell you who this nigga was, y'all. At first, I didn't pay attention to him because sometimes when I be on the phone, I just... You know, what's up, Joe? So when uh, I had to go pick my man up off the ground, I look, I'm like, nigga, what's going on? He's like, what's up, John? I said, I didn't know that was you. Yeah, man, you was on the phone. Let me tell y'all who this nigga is, y'all. This one of my guys, he was a stick-up man. But he was smoking crack back in the day. But he still was a stick-up man. But he didn't have no gun. So every time he hit a lick, he got the A joke, and I used the move. I'm going to bring it back, man. I got you. I got you. Would you believe this nigga stuck up Popeyes, y'all? Check out how shit work. He stuck up Popeyes. And as he was coming out with the money and everything, the police was in the drive-thru getting some food. A lady police detective, right? She was in the drive-thru. And the chick must look. She said, oh, the police out there. She went out there and she said, hey, hey, he just robbed us. He just robbed us. And then the lady jumped out and said, freeze. This nigga turned around. Boom, boom. And she ducked. Boom, 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 boom. They have a good old back and forth, y'all, right? She didn't even chase him. She picked up that damn walkie-talkie, put that motor run on his ass. Then take about 15 minutes. Zoo, 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 zoo. You shooting that police. Oh, here they come. They, you know, zoo, 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 zoo. before you know it, they call up with him, right? I didn't see that nigga <laughs> for 10 goddamn years, man. 10 years later, I see the nigga. And I think that same week before he go, he had robbed another store. And go try to be slick with the money, y'all. He went in the store. He done robbed the ATM. Not the ATM. He done, went, he done robbed the uh, lottery machine and the register. And come out, the nigga who had let him use the gun, he go try to say, man, that's all I got. Singles and all that shit. And the nigga got like, nigga, I sent you at that damn ATM. I mean, at the uh, lottery. Nigga, you got more money than that. That's all I got, bro. Fuck it, they ain't tripping. They chopped it up. <laughs> he tried to get out the car. One of the guys sent him and like, nigga, get your motherfucking ass back. Get your ass back in here, nigga. They took all the money from him. Man, we'll split it up. Okay, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you, two for me, one for you, two for me. <laughs> nah, but they, they didn't beat him out too much. They just probably taxed his ass uh couple of twenties. I talked to the a couple of twenties. He got it out of him, but he like, gee, I shouldn't have gave that nigga shit. 
He said, gee, that nigga took all the 10, 20s, everything out. It, we finna try to split up all ones. And then he went to jail for that, y'all. 10 years, I didn't see that nigga. So you think sticking up is cool? Mm-hmm. It's all right for one day when you get $2 in your pocket, but when you always get caught, you gonna be gone, baby. You gonna be gone. Pardon the body, y'all. You gonna be gone. Here my thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'd like to thank everybody who just said happy birthday. Even if you ain't said nothing. If you just said happy birthday. I had one person send me $5. That's all right. That's the thought that count, y'all. That's the thought that count. Because if I go to the store and spend it, put it in the gas tank, whatever, then it was useful. But, yeah, I be trying to chill out sometime, y'all. I don't be doing too much. If I'm not at work, I lay back, watch me some TV, stay out the way. Why my grandson call me, y'all? Granddad. I said, yeah. Uh, and I'm from over there. I said, oh boy. Where you stay at? I said, we stay on 73rd and Racine. Right May Street. I said, yeah. Some of the guys talking about I ain't from over there. I said, who? They and I guys, uh, did you tell me who your granddaddy is? No, these some other guys. Some dog pound niggas, some BDs. I guess they like, nigga, we ain't never heard of you. You ain't shot shit. You ain't stepped on nothing. You know that go. He ain't got no street rep. His street rep is, his granddaddy is the general. So he get to hang with all the more, but he ain't put no work in. And I'm like, you ain't got to explain nothing to nobody, boy. Stop trying to worry about it. You tell them, no, nah, you ain't from over there. Fuck it. If they think you ain't over there, from over there, that's a good thing. That means you won't get caught up in none of that bullshit. You know, I'm going to have to have another sit down with them and be like, man, stop worrying about what them guys doing. If y'all bumping heads in the street, so what? Stop worrying about what they doing. Y'all shouldn't be hanging. See, the problem is these new niggas like to hang out with their enemies sometimes. Be frenemies. They frenemies. They want to goddamn hang out a little bit and then get into it and all kind of goofy shit. Black dolls and fucking the same women and all that shit. I'm like, no, nah, bro. You ain't going to be doing that. Uh, and how the hell? I said, so you talking to them? Man, stop playing. Stop playing, man. You don't have to know who you is. Keep it like that. You know key. You incognito. Until it's time for you to step out and they know who you is. Keep it just like that, man. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody face, baby daddy, voice of the street, man. Uh let me know what y'all been on, man. You know, see I got a lot of comments. I ain't even went over to the Facebook and check. You know, I gotta go Facebook see what's going on, you know. But man, you know, I might be finna go out tonight a little bit though. Uh, one of the guys said he was gonna come through and he wanted me to slide with him. And I might just go out for a little while, not too long. Like I told him, I go out to a, a over forty club, you know, thirty five and over. I go to clubs like that. But I ain't going to no club but no young niggas is in there, you know, so, I mean, it ain't like it's just that much of a problem, but it is that much of an age difference, but, you know, they don't know how to lay back and chill and relax, enjoy the music, enjoy the company you with, like whoever the woman is you with, talk to her, y'all vibing, and hey, talk to your shit, you never know where you go lead to. And ladies... <laughs> I hate to tell you, sometimes niggas, when we be getting drunk, we would tell you any motherfucking thing. And it don't have to be necessary lying. It might be just a good joke, script, you know what I mean? Some shit like that, right? Look, so I was fucking with this chick, right? Up at Stag, when you park over there and you smoke a little weed, you got it. You can get out. It's a tree right here next to your car. 
Then in the back, it's a tree way in the back. If you want to get out and smoke, you have to go in the gate though. Get out and smoke and go back there. If you want to go back there and get you a little cookie in, you could. So when we got out the car, I said, yeah, baby, we got to stand by this tree. She like, why? I said, yeah, because that right there is the fucking me tree. You can't stand by that tree unless you fucking me. Me and her just hooked up, so we hadn't even done it yet. I said, yeah, you can't stand by that tree unless you fucking me. I was really saying that. I was hoping I'd say, well, let's go by the fucking me tree. That's what I was really going for, but... She like, oh, okay. So we had just met. We kept it smooth. So I pick up about a week later or so. Now we done did it and everything. And we riding up the damn street, y'all. And she look out. She's like, oh, baby, we can go stand by the fucking me tree now. I'm like, what? The fucking me tree. I didn't know what this bitch was talking about. The look on my face like, the fuck me the fuck you talking about bitch you know and she looked she like oh snap oh I knew you was lying I'm like what when she told me the story y'all I laughed so motherfucking hard I swear for almost 10 minutes I couldn't get the real straight I was laughing so hard she like I can't believe you oh my god I was laughing so fucking hard so fucking hard because that's the bad thing about lying y'all you can only thing that stays the same is the truth a lie gonna change every time a new question is asked that's why when it comes to women and if I got more than one two of them I don't be doing no lying I can't do it because I ain't got time to keep up with no lie bitch ask me where you at I'm over with Tracy how damn man how long you finna be over there I'm spending the night I'm here for the night Man, I want you to bring me something to eat. I'll bring you breakfast. But I'm not coming out tonight. Man, why you get It's snow outside. It's cold. This woman to cook. Where the fuck I'm telling I'm finna go? And she can't go. Man, I... I'm like, I'll see you in the morning. Simple. I ain't got time to be lying, y'all. Trust me, if you stop lying, you'll get better results. People be lying up. Too much sometimes. For no reason, too. No reason. People would tell their girl, yeah, I'm at my uncle's house. And they'd be like, I just didn't tell you was at Shrimp House. Um, and then next week when her girlfriend like, yeah, I seen your man when he was at Shrimp House. Shrimp House? He wasn't at Shrimp House Sunday. Bitch, yes, he was. Now he won't. Yes, he was. Now you got to answer for that shit. Unnecessarily, y'all. Unnecessarily. Let me tell you what happened to me one time, y'all. When we was young, we used to get the hats, have our name and shit on it. Shrimp Mac. G Shrimp. I went to general yet, so mine said Shrimp Mac. My baby mama used to love to wear it. She put it on her head. Big titty motherfucker walking around the neighborhood. She just flossing. So I had met this chick, y'all. Up at Stag. Nah, we were on that Stag. I met her. She stayed on the block over there by Stag. And uh, I had met her and brung her over here. You know how you young. You'll take a bitch anywhere. We goes in the abandoned building. Now, the house, let's say it's not a abandoned building. It's a vacant building. Somebody moved out because it wasn't fucked up. Somebody had just moved, but we had access to it. So we goes in there, and uh, I'm coming in, my boy Dice Dog up there, he got another bitch upstairs, right? And uh, he comes down there, who the fuck is that? I said, it's me, Mo. Oh, okay. I said, all right. I ain't think nothing of it. I go in the room, pull the little plastic off the wall, not the plastic, that pink shit, and lay the girl down, y'all. Do my thing. Boy, that bitch woke up. She was itching. Lord, have mercy. Woo, Lord. Y'all know, tell me you can rub some of that shit on your skin. And you know how it be. Boy, that bitch back was itching, man. Man. So, you know, the next day come. And, uh, Sherelle. This is my girl. Not Sherelle. Um, 
my girl got the hat on surreal, right? She walking around with the hat on. And the girl see her and look like Shrimp Mac. She's like, that's your boyfriend, Shrimp Mac? She said, yeah. She said, I had fun with him in the abandoned building last night. She's like, what? I had fun with him in the abandoned building last night. So my girl, she pissed, right? And before she see me, right? She see, and I told you, me and Dice had babies by these two chicks. They was friends. Dice was up there with his real woman, which is Dana. Dana is my baby mama best friend. So when she see Sherelle, she like, yeah, bitch, you was in the abandoned building getting you some dick last night, huh? She like, no, I wasn't. I couldn't come out yesterday. She like, what? Bitch, where your man was in the band the building? She like, what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And boy, all that shit hit the fan at the same time. That lady was walking up the street and sing Sherelle and told her, I had a good time with your man in the band the building last night. The surreal was mad at me, boy. I'm talking about hot, boy. Wanted to try to fight. I'm holding the man. I'm not finna fight you. Cut it out. Cut it out. I'm not finna fight you. She kicking and shit. Wanna do all of that. Give me my hat on. Give me my hat, bitch. Because if you wouldn't have had this hat on, this shit wouldn't have happened. Now, if a nigga want to kill me, he could have shot you in your damn head, too. Bitch, stop wearing my hat. You know I come up with a good excuse. Keep my hat off your head. And we wouldn't be going through this. I was young, you know. We was young then, y'all. That's the baby mama. My son's mama. If I say I don't hate women, yes, you do. No, yes, you do. You beat me up. Yeah, well, that was different. I was a teenager. You deserved your ass whoop, and that's what it was. You shouldn't have been playing with me, you know. See, it's cool if you don't got a jealous man, ladies. But don't just put shit in his face where he can see it plainly. You know what a chick told me one time? I'm going to go to the hospital. My baby daddy was in an accident. I said, all right, yeah, go see your baby daddy. I think he got some money on me. They said, he said, he, he might be finna die. He always told me if something happened to him, he had some money for him. She got the strip. She drawing it out, y'all. But this bitch getting dressed like she going on a date or in the club. So I'm in there bagging up because I'm getting ready for the next day. I'm like, right, well, I'm going to be gone by the time you get back, baby. You know, I right. and you know, I'm doing my little thing. Some say, look at the clock, G. I'm like, it's 10 o'clock. I said, hey, bitch, come here. See, huh? I said, look, I ain't no jealous type of motherfucker, but you ain't just gonna tell me anything. I said, visiting hours is over with. Now, where the fuck you going? Huh? I said, if you wanna go out, just say it. Why you lying? Oh, that shit, that shit, that ain't cool. You can just say, shrimp, we finna go to the club. All right, cool. Don't sell me no lie, and then I don't even care what the lie is, but at least make it make sense. Come on, man. Make it make sense. Ain't no way you going to no damn hospital at no 11, 11 to 12 o'clock. You putting on high heels to go to the hospital. The hospital, man, stop it. You trying to play me like I'm boo-boo. Mm-mm. Bitch, I am not Lunch Me Larry. I am not Sam the Sausage Head. I ain't none of them motherfucker. No nigga making meat, bitch. It's me. Not Sam the Sausage Head. <laughs> none of that. Lunch me, Larry. None of them niggas. I don't know them niggas. Bitch, maybe you do. Maybe you do. But you're not going to treat the general like that. No, you're not. You're not doing that. You know. And when I had an altercation in the house, y'all. I had pulled a strap on a nigga at the house, right? And she. <laughs> she having a heart attack. They called me shrimp. Lois can't breathe. So what the fuck you want me to do, bitch? I ain't got no oxygen up here. Call the ambulance. 
Because I'm mad because we had just gotten into it with some niggas. So I'm mad, right? Next thing I know, red lights and shit in front of the place. I'm like, God damn. Oh shit, I done killed my motherfucking girl. And let me tell you how sharp the police is, y'all. When that woman went to the hospital, her heart was. They like, calm down, calm down, lady. Calm down. Calm down. She couldn't calm down. And they like, what's wrong? And then he said, let me guess. You had a dramatic experience of something in your life happened, right? Yeah, he said, what happened? My son got killed. Yeah, yeah. They came to my house and killed my son. He like, okay, okay, relax, relax. He said, let me guess. He said, so what happened tonight to make you, you know, heart racing like that? Did you see a gun? She like, no. He like, yeah. You got a boyfriend? She, whoa. Uh, uh, now she's, I better straighten up. She like, no, I ain't got no boyfriend. <laughs> she had to straighten up because she know where they was heading. They probably like, yeah, bitch. That nigga might have upped the pistol on you and sent you back into shock or something like that. Mm-hmm. And she had to calm down. But she was really... I'm talking about it because she had never seen me turn up because I ain't the type to play around when it comes to certain shit. I ain't going to have no gun to be, look, look, look. She ain't know I even had a strap until that incident. That's why I shocked her like that. Like, <sighs> mm -hmm. I bet she like, damn, this nigga, he finna shoot that boy. She told me I like I was possessed of pills. Mm-hmm. I went off my pills. I was mad. A nigga had made me mad and um I had to get out on him. You know what I mean? Don't don't play with the G boy. I told you you're a young nigga, you know of me. You don't know me like that. You don't know me. You find out why I can walk around here, drive around here and I don't have no problem. And be a player. I'm a gangster and a gentleman. I ain't out here just trying to be a gangster all day. I don't gotta do that. If ain't no nigga bothering me, I ain't bothering no nigga. So I lay back and be cool until something jump or it's a problem. You act like that, y'all, you live longer. You don't run head first into everything. Sometimes you need to assess the situation and see what's going on. Because sometimes it might not even be worth the drama you finna get into. It ain't even worth the drama. And if you sit back and observe the situation, like some of the people say, do more listening than talking, you'll figure out anything. And one thing you need to learn, y'all, when you grown, you need to get control of your emotions. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. You need to get control of your emotions. Meaning, don't get, because you mad, rush off to do nothing. Oh, because you in love, don't go do nothing. Don't, just because she got loud, go make you want to hurt her and all that. Learn how to control your emotions, because just, guess what? You having a calm mind can overcome any situation. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. You having a calm mind can overcome any situation. That's why when things go wrong, they switch the players out and put some level head players in there. Somebody that uh, ain't emotional. And be like, man, what happened? Explain it to me. And y'all fix the situation nine times out of ten. Put somebody in there that's laid back and calm and uh, let them discuss the situation, whatever it is. You draw. It's your boy G. Shrimp, everybody fade, baby, they divorce the street, man. I'm a plant you now, dig you later. Hit that like button, y'all, and subscribe to the channel, man. I'm out of here.